everyone, Miss Melinda here, your spiritual worker from Miss Melinda's Metaphysical Services.com, here today to bring you part two in my series on curses. So if you haven't seen part one, go ahead and take a look at that. In part one, I break down the different types of curses and the way that we acquire those curses. And the biggest thing that I want to remind you of and that I would like you to keep in mind is that I'm putting forth a viewpoint that's a little bit out of the ordinary because typically how we think of curses is that there's something that is sent to us or placed upon us through magical, metaphysical, or spiritual means. In my opinion, the basic premise of a curse or the basic definition of a curse is an energetic blockage. We can acquire an energetic blockage through all kinds of different means and experiences and exposures. And it's really important to keep in mind that if we have the symptoms of a curse and we experience the conditions of a curse, we have the mindset of a curse, then we are essentially cursed regardless of where that curse came from or how it was placed upon us or acquired. And one of the reasons it's important to keep that in mind is because regardless of where it came from or how we acquired these symptoms or these experiences, they can all be treated and healed in the same way and we can recover the same way regardless of where it came from or how we acquired it. So in this video, in part two, I'm going to be talking about the symptoms of a curse. So as I mentioned, a curse is essentially an energetic blockage. And the, the way that we experience energetic blockages can manifest in our life holistically. It manifests within us emotionally, it manifests within us mentally, it manifests within us energetically and spiritually around us in, in our lives energetically and spiritually as well. So let's take a moment to think about how an energetic blockage would work in those different areas of our life. An energetic blockage in our emotional life is going to make it difficult for us to open up. It's going to make it difficult for us to feel love and to receive love and to give love. It's going to make it difficult for us to be vulnerable, to open up to other people, to feel close to people, to feel um, togetherness, to feel harmony. It's going to make it difficult for us to form lasting bonds. It's going to make it difficult for us to learn how to make relationships work. It's going to make it difficult for us to seek out healthy partners, seek out healthy relationships. And it's going to make it difficult for us to love ourselves and care for ourselves and do what is needed for ourselves to be happy, whole individuals. Now, as I have stated, this is an energetic blockage. It doesn't mean that it is placed upon us from someone else or from a spirit or from spiritual or energetic means. This blockage can come from our own experiences or our own mindset. So go ahead and take a look at video one if you need a refresher on that. Another way that blockages are going to present in our lives would be mental blockages. What does it feel like to have a mental blockage? It feels like you have cloudy thinking, you have cloudy memory, you're suddenly unable to form your thoughts properly, you are very confused mentally, you're unable to form your sentences, you're unable to communicate, you're confused by your own ideas, you are unable to make decisions, you're unable to make plans, you're having a lot of difficulty ascertaining in your life what is real and what is your own perception. You're having a lot of trouble ascertaining the truth. You're having a lot of trouble seeing clearly what is going on around you. You are easily susceptible to illusions and fantasies and manipulations. That would be one example of mental blockages. Mental blockages are also going to make it difficult to learn, to take in new information, new knowledge. It's going to make it difficult to take tests, to study, to read, to concentrate, to understand the plot of a movie, to focus in on things, right? And to pay attention and put pieces together to see the big picture and to 
be able to um, put together what is happening around you in, in any given circumstance. Another blockage that can manifest in our life is a spiritual blockage. The symptoms of a spiritual blockage are going to be we have trouble connecting to our guides. We have trouble connecting to our deities. We have trouble feeling really connected in our spiritual practice. We have trouble bringing our magic to fruition. We have trouble um, raising and directing energy. Now this would be particularly important or particularly significant in somebody who previously could do these things and then suddenly cannot, right? Somebody who had a very strong guide and all of a sudden they can't hear or see that guide anymore. Somebody who had a strong connection with an ancestor and all of a sudden they communicate with their ancestor and they receive no messages or no information back. Somebody who is used to practicing magic on a regular basis and having good results and all of a sudden everything that they do just kind of falls dead or falls on dead ears, right? That's going to be more significant than, uh, than in other kinds of situations where people perhaps don't have those relationships or those skills developed very thoroughly. A spiritual blockage, other symptoms of a spiritual blockage could be just generally feeling out of alignment. So energetic, metaphysical, and spiritual blockages are going to cause symptoms like feeling out of alignment, feeling as if everything is just kind of heavy and stagnant and lethargic and like you're like you're walking through mud like you have a lot of difficulty um getting anything done like like things are just kind of stacked against you nothing really makes sense and it's um like you're fighting against the current to do everything and this this isn't just about physically not being able to get things done, like not being able to bring your goals to fruition or to accomplish tasks, but this is a real um, palpable energetic feeling, just like I can't get out of bed, I feel so heavy, I feel weighted down, I just feel like a, a heavy sadness for no reason. These could almost be, these are very similar to symptoms of depression, right? Um, feeling uh just very clouded, very like something's not right, but I can't tell what it is. Um, for instance, if you have some kind of spiritual blockage that um, has occurred in a specific area of your life, or even in a specific room of your house, or even in a specific area of your town, when you go to that place or when you go to perform that task, um, you're going to feel it more so at that time. For instance, if you've acquired a spiritual blockage through your spiritual practice and you have a special area where you perform your spiritual practice, you're going to notice it more when you go to that area to perform your spiritual practice. You're going to notice suddenly things don't feel right. I feel sluggish. I don't feel connected. Something just feels off. I feel like I'm unable to do this. I feel like I can hardly even move my body the same way. I feel like the tasks that used to be easy to me in this area of my life just feel um, so difficult, so sluggish, so like I'm fighting against something, right? Um, so the symptoms of energetic and metaphysical and spiritual blockages are very, very similar and they're going to just make us feel like we're fighting against the current and like things are stacked up against us. There's going to be an energetic, energetic, physical, palpable feeling, but there are also going to be things that occur in our lives that are further evidence. So in a serious um, blockage situation, like an energetic blockage that's very serious, it might actually cause things to continually go wrong for us, like repeated small car accidents just over and over again. Um, things just, you know, seem to keep going wrong. We got locked out of our house and then we got into a car accident and then our cat got lost and then we found out that our grandma's very sick and then our relationship broke off and we lost our job. When you have a series of events like that that keep coming one after another after another in a life that has otherwise been flowing well and
and these things seem to have come on all of a sudden and suddenly you're on this long streak of bad luck, that can definitely be a symptom of an energetic blockage or even a spiritual blockage because sometimes if we have a spiritual blockage, then um, it means our connection with our guides or our ancestors, for example, are not what they should be. And therefore things start to get out of alignment in our lives and our physical world because things are out of alignment in our spiritual world, right? And of course, it's all the classic symptoms of having a curse that we're so used to, um, we're so used to, to perceiving or associating with this as well, which would be um, being sick for no known reasons, the doctors can't find what, what's wrong with you, you just feel sick all the time, you have all of these strange symptoms that you cannot define, you can't find the cause for, there's no known medical associations, but you just keep getting sick. Um, all of these kinds of like bad luck scenarios, car accidents, and um, people around you getting sick, um, relationships falling apart and things just not going your way, not being able to accomplish the things that you're seeking to accomplish, not being able to accomplish your goals, not being able to get a job for a long extended period of time, even though the economy in your area is good, even though you have the experience, even though your work history is excellent, you still can't seem to get things done, right? So those kinds of classic symptoms are definitely um, still relevant as well. And I do want to point out that um, there's always hope for any of these scenarios and many of these scenarios are rare as I said in the first video and there's always hope for these scenarios. They can all be cured, they can all be healed, they can all be worked on. I will talk late in later videos more thoroughly about working on them. In fact in the next video, video number three, I'm going to talk about how to break down a curse and I'm going to um, break that down by the type or variety of curse. So there's always help, we can always be healed, and it's important to remember that a curse is just an energetic blockage. blockage. So that blockage, it can be removed, it can be broken up. The last thing that I want to uh, iterate and keep, keep in, on everybody's mind is that when we have these symptoms, we need to rule out physical or everyday causes first. And energetic or spiritual healing or magic or spiritual services are never meant to replace our practical action, our medical care, our mental health care, and so forth. We always need to take those actions as well and to look at those factors in our lives and rule that out before we determine that this is a spiritual or energetic cause. Of course, it could be both, and it's important to heal holistically, so spiritually, um, metaphysically, as well as mentally and emotionally and physically. So it's important to look at all of those areas in our lives, rule out causes in those areas, and tackle healing in all of those areas. Spiritual work is meant to complement and work in tandem with the good decisions that we make for ourselves in our everyday lives. Okay, so stay tuned for part three where I talk about how to heal or break curses. Thanks so much and stay blessed.